Let's cover that up. Are you boycotting Harley Davidson? Is that what we're doing now? Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well on this fine morning here in the UK. Uh, the sun is shining, or well, it's starting to shine, and uh, yeah, the birds are singing, and all is well in the world, you would think, apart from Harley Davidson. As you know, I'm sure, if you're in the Harley Davidson world, they've been coming under increasing pressure from, well, social media about being woke and all that kind of stuff. Now, I made a video uh, about a week ago, or maybe a bit more now, talking about, well, you know, they've always been woke and it's always happened. This is not new news. And I was kind of slated in, in the comments as well for sort of saying these things. But the point is that corporations, they have these policies. And I've always, if you've watched my channel from a long time ago, I've always said this about Harley Davidson. I, I love the bike, right? I love my Harley Davidson. I'm a Harley Davidson fan in terms of their bikes. I like them. But I'm not brand loyal, and I'm not a Harley Davidson channel either. Although I do a lot of content about Harley Davidsons, of course, because I ride one. But this is what I've always said about people who are Harley Davidson fans, in that you can love the bikes. You might even have a preference for this style of bike or this brand of bikes. But when you kind of misplace that kind of loyalty for the brand or that preference for the brand for that kind of undeniable loyalty to the brand or to the company well i think that's just misplaced it's always been misplaced because they won't give you that same loyalty back and maybe people's eyes are starting to open now to this to this concept that you know just because you like the bikes it doesn't mean that you have to love the company and guess what the company is not going to love you back so this seems this could be the biggest pr disaster from harley davidson in many many years but i will say this there does appear to be lots of youtube channels and people online social media who seem to be how can i put it agitators agitators just flaring this up right and what annoys me more about this, about these agitators, that they don't even ride motorcycles, they don't even ride Harley Davidsons, they have nothing to do with the motorcycle world. And they're showing how dealerships, uh, you know, are completely empty, or at Sturgis, you know, uh, the Harley Davidson dealerships or the stands were completely empty, just like they boycotted the... Uh, the Bud Light stand, uh, you know, last year because of woke ideology and all this kind of stuff, or all PR campaigns that have just backfired. Now, it could be that in certain communities, yeah, there is a bit of a backlash, and people are kind of gripping onto this this notion that I've got to think in a certain way just because somebody out there said that I should be thinking in a certain way or because a company is acting a certain way with their policies that all of a sudden I've got to change my view on whether I like a bike or not and for me that just doesn't just doesn't wash nobody's gonna tell me whether i like this bike or not or like this brand of bikes i have said on numerous occasions in the past that you can still love the bikes but you don't have to support the company and the only way you don't support the company if that's your thing you know you're anti the company you just don't buy brand new bikes you just buy a used bike you don't buy a bike from a dealership you go to a private sale you don't have to buy parts from harley davidson you can get those parts from uh, elsewhere you can buy aftermarket parts if that's your thing so you can still love the bike you can still love the harley davidson model but you don't have to support the company if you don't want to but this brings me on to another thing what is it about mixing up politics and preferences and social injustice with sports or with just riding motorcycles i just don't get it i just don't get why companies have to get involved in these kind of social issues and political issues and people as customers kind of swing both ways it seems if we're in this world right now politics and you know having to go either one way or the other it's either black or white you're left or right you're woke not woke so if you if i don't boycott harley davidson if i don't boycott them does that make me woke just because i still ride a harley davidson and I'll, i will go to the dealership to get parts let's say does that make me woke 
but what about if I do boycott Harley Davidson and I'm never going to have the brand? Does that make me some kind of right wing, far right, you know, anti wokeist activist? It, it just doesn't work like that. Now, also, I've, maybe it's just me. Again, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. But this could be just all being inflamed by social media and these agitators these youtube channels on there just trying to get clicks and trying to you know they've got a big following because that's their kind of persuasion anyway they they deal in this political world and this wokest world and or anti wokest world so they have a, an agenda just to get even more more clicks so hardly able to have come under under you know they're being targeted by them right and this has led Harley Davidson to shut up shop. They're not allowing comments. They shut down their social media or they're not posting and all that kind of stuff. And they've gone within their shell. But shouldn't they just come out and be forthright and, and defend their position a little bit or even explain their position? Would that help? But these people are trying to push you one way or another. They're trying to tell you that you should do one thing or, or they're trying to influence you to think, no, I should hate my Harley Davidson or I should hate the, the brand or I should hate the, the company. I think that's always down to a personal decision. And I've always said, you know, sport and politics, you should never mix those two. Just keep politics out of sport. And this is the same for me. Keep politics out of whether you like your Harley Davidson. That's got nothing to do with, with what your preference of what you like your bike. Now, if you don't want to buy a brand new bike, then don't buy a brand new bike. Just buy a used one. Buy a private sale. But somehow jumping on the bandwagon saying that Harley Davidson are not American made anymore. Well, we've always said this, that, you know, Harley Davidson's are assembled in the United States, but they're not kind of necessarily made in the United States in terms of their parts, because it's, they're just like any manufacturer, they're sourced from all over the world. Now some of the bikes have been shifted over to Thailand, and they've cut, this is what's annoyed a lot of people now, is that there's, the company said that the bikes for the American market would always be made in the United States. But the Pan America, I believe, and the Knights and Sportster have been shifted over to Thailand temporarily. And they're saying for the 2025 bikes. Well, this could be a lot to do with, you know, reworking the plants and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, economies of scale. But many of those bikes aren't sold in the United States anyway. They don't sell in great numbers. But even so, they've kind of backpedaled what they originally promised. So, yeah, you can imagine that's that's going to annoy people right but again but again this is the difference between being a fan of the brand or a fan of a motorcycle and being somehow loyal to the company when they're not loyal to you what did you expect did you expect anything different and maybe people are starting to wake up to this but my original point which i was trying to get onto was just that well maybe there's a there's a big difference here between around the around the world about what people, let's say, in the UK or Europe feel about Harley Davidson as fans, but what people in the United States feel about it, because they might feel a bit more patriotic about it. They may feel that they've been let down, they've been left out of the equation, all that kind of stuff. You know, especially people who are involved with jobs, and let's say, yeah, you're going to feel pretty aggrieved, right? Because you might lose your job. But this is all corporations are doing exactly the same they've been doing this for the longest time so we might be slightly disconnected but i dare say that most people are disconnected most people are probably just looking at the bike now and say well can i afford it or not am i of the right age group or not it seems as if lots of things that harley davidson have tried to do in recent years have kind of backfired they haven't worked very well they're still only appealing to over 40 year olds for the most part because they're the ones who can afford it really to pay these astronomical prices and if you can't you're probably just going to get stick with an older bike like i am or you're just going to buy a used bike or you're just going to go for something cheaper i've you know i've criticized harley davidson as a company as a corporation for for many years just by trying to sell a dream or sell an idea that just isn't there anymore or trying to convince you that their bikes are worth this money when they're clearly for me they're not but i don't think any bike is worth this money it's not harley Davidson. i do think that they're good bikes i do think for the most part they're great but i just don't believe the hype and when you're kind of mixing this hype or this this somehow this 
you're being let down by the company or let down by the that dream that notion and then you start throwing in political ideology and all of a sudden it builds up into some kind of melting pot a, a ball of confusion and then people start saying oh, i'm gonna boycott harley davidson well do you even really need to are you doing it should you do it i don't know i don't have those answers but I, I'm interested to see what people, let's say, in my country, in the UK, or around Europe, or, you know, Australia, let's say, or Canada, or the United States, you know, or any other part of the, the world, what they feel about this. Is it something that even affects your daily riding? I've got to say, for me, it doesn't. I'm not buying a brand new Harley Davidson. Well, certainly not now. And I have no intention to right now. I'm sticking with this bike for now. It suits my riding. I like the style. I like the way it rides. I like the way I feel on it. I've always said I've had the best connection with this bike than any other bike. So for, for that discussion, that noise over there, it doesn't affect me. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. I just think that too many people are trying to bubble this up, agitate this, and it just doesn't need it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. But are you a fan? of the motorcycle or are you a fan of the brand are you gonna debadge your bike are you gonna take away the symbols or are you just gonna get on with it let us know your thoughts in the comments below if you like what i do here don't forget to like and share the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notifications bell for future videos right catch you again bye now